hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. Today we are going to break into all of my January unboxings. They all of my January boxes to unbox. They're all here already. I'm kind of surprised. It's like uh, right now it's the 13th. Shocking. This is shocking. So we have Medusa's makeup, the Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus, and I have something exciting to tell you about Ipsy for next month, and the untitled box, which is called the Wild and then the number one box. Maybe this is like a first anniversary box. I think that's what I saw on their website. So we're gonna break into all of those. Should we do what we always do and start with the cheapest and go to the most expensive? I feel like, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my God, look at the Ipsy bag for January. It is so damn cute. It is fuzzy, lavender-ish type purple, like a pastel neon green, and then pink zipper. I, I'm really digging this bag. I'm keeping this one. I barely ever keep them. I'm generally trying to force them onto people. It's $15 per month. You're going to get five deluxe size sample sized beauty items. Sometimes you get a full size item in here and one out of those five items is going to be a choice item So the very first thing that we have looks like it matches the bag so well. I like the vibe It's from a brand called do of the gods and it's called the feels mini This is a squalane and oat milk microdermabrasion dry erase facial scrub god I feel like I need this right now. I never really experienced dry skin. My skin is so dry like I just I don't even know how to do it I, I don't know how to fix it. Diamonds are cold, gold is overrated, silk is just a fabric, don't pretend, feel what's real. I, I don't know what any of that means. It's got some scrubby, scratchy, fiberglass feeling beads in there, but I bet you it does a really good job. All right, let's dig down. What I'm really kind of hoping for is a liquid eyeliner. This feels like a pencil eyeliner, perhaps. This is that one that I could not read a few months ago. The font is just outrageous for what it is that they're trying to write. It, I think it's supposed to say like, being rebelled. It is the Rebel Eye Definer Pencil. I'm gonna guess it's going to be in black. It is. I do kind of need something like that. I don't know, what's this? On the bottom, I think we have a pencil sharpener on the bottom, or does it spin it? It doesn't spin. It turns out the bottom is nothing. That's just how the packaging comes together and I just forced it apart. All right, an eyeliner, full-size product. Let's go into this little bubble wrapped thing next, which is a little eyeshadow quad. From a brand that we see in here quite a bit, it's that Oriza or or Oriza. You know a brand I have not really heard anything about lately is BoxyCharm. I haven't gotten a BoxyCharm box and I haven't watched any unboxings in a while and I feel like they just completely fell out of my algorithm. Do people still like BoxyCharm? Um, should I get one to see how, how it goes? This is the palette. I do not believe that this is a palette that you could just like throw in your bag and take with you somewhere. It has four shades. It has one matte, three shimmers, which is far too many shimmers. Really, you could have three mattes and one shimmer or two and two, but you can't do it the other way around. You just can't. No mirror. It does feel cheap. I mean, it is in the $15 glam bag. You know what it reminded me of actually was last month or the month before we got this PYT beauty one. Doesn't it look like very similar? It's almost damn near the exact same color story, right? Oh, it's the Nebula Shimmer Eyeshadow. But then why is there one that's matte? Next up, we have this thing. Is it a mascara? No, it's a lip gloss from Shayna B and it's in Besitos. We literally got something with this shade last month and I had somebody comment, I love that, that's so pretty. I had somebody comment and tell me that it meant, um, I totally forgot, but this looks like such a pretty shade. It has almost a pearliness to it that I don't love. I don't know, I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. I'm not gonna put it back in the box. Here we go, is this the last thing? One, two, three, it is the last thing in here. It's from NARS, I fucking love NARS. Why, and it's in the shade Dolce Vita. It's the Velvet Matte lip pencil. Okay, Dolce Vita, I've heard, is one of their more popular shades. It, I mean, maybe, maybe? It's kind of a little too pink for me. Is that too pink? Okay, well, I mean, that's not a fair test because I just mixed it in with lip gloss, but I like the shade so far. Yeah, that is everything that we got in the glam bag, the overall value of the bag. I will put on the screen. I got two full-size items out of this. They did send this to me in PR. It's a good example of the different brands that they're featuring for that month. In my past experience, I have unboxed my glam bag that I pay for next to the glam bag that they send me in PR. And I think almost every single time, if not every single time, my personal glam bag outvalued the, um, 
um, like the value of this one and I liked it more because it was personalized for me. Um, next up, Medusa's makeup. This one I believe is $22.95 per month. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta look it up. All right, I figured it out. It's $22.95 per month. They do also have international options. You are going to get four to six deluxe sample size to full size beauty items in here that are going to all be vegan and cruelty free. You're guaranteed to get at least one pop of color. They do currently have a coupon going on on their site. I think it was coupon new year. Code new year 20 and you'll save 20% on your entire order making this like $18. I have tried all of the vegan and cruelty beauty boxes in the past. This is the only one that's fun. Every other one just gives you the most boring, bland stuff that's like that no makeup makeup look. Hate it. This one is always so damn cute. So you get it in this little bubble pouch and the bubbles in it have hearts. And you should keep these little bubble pouches because they are literally the most perfect little travel pouches. It keeps everything from breaking. I've never gotten anything broken in this box. Um, first up, yes, they know me. We have a scrunchie, a black velvet scrunchie, but this is one of those stash scrunchies. So you can go ahead and hide your drugs. I mean, your lip gloss in here before you go into a concert. I love these. <laughs> I thought that said stoner, it says toner. Let's go for that. It is the Lovebird Rose All Day Facial Toner Brightens and Soothes Your Skin. This is another one of those brands that they frequently partner with. It says it's made with love, cruelty free, vegan, and paraben free. No, nope, that's rose. Oh my God, it makes me shudder just to smell it. I don't think very many people enjoy the smell of rose. I just, I don't see anybody excited about getting it. So I don't know why brands still insist on making anything that's supposed to be pampering you like a rose scent. Oh my God, I thought that was going to be hot pink. For a second, it was kind of exciting. Also very scared. This is a glitter called Shooting Star. It has like a sifter on the top. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the little holes there, so it doesn't just come pouring out. There is a little bit of it on my hand. I, I don't ever wear glitters, but that's a really nice little shimmer. I like that. It feels very smooth. It doesn't actually feel like <clears throat> excuse me, glitter at all. It feels like a finely milled shimmer. Two more things left in this bag. Next up, we have a baked eyeshadow in the color My Bad. That, that's really pretty. I thought it was going to come out so much more bold, so much darker than that. That could be like a good crease shade, a good overall lid shade. I really like that one. <laughs> one last thing in here we have, please be a liquid eyeliner. It's not. It's a So Susan Cosmetics Cashmere Matte long-lasting matte lipstick. It has been so long since I've worn a matte lipstick. I don't go places where lipstick's a thing. That is very br bright red. That is shockingly like a burgundy red. I literally never, ever, ever wear this color. And if I do, I already have a few options um, that I've already let touch my lips. So I'm not gonna touch that. Oh shit, nah, see, I just touched the edge trying to get it in. Now people are gonna think that I used it when I just wanna donate it. There we go. Okay, so that's everything that came in the Medusa's makeup bag. Actually, I feel like everything is considered a full size in here because we have the lipstick, the baked eyeshadow, the shimmer pot, scrunchie, and something else. What did I, what else? Oh, the toner, the rose toner. Maybe this isn't like full size. It is two ounces, which it could be. It's valued at $14, which is still like, could it be a full size price? Could that be a sample size price? The overall value of the entire box is $68. So you definitely get more than doubled, that's more than triple your value in vegan cruelty free beauty products. And it's not boring, right? After a decent amount of scrubbing, that eyeliner from the Ipsy Glam Bag is still on my hand. So I'm gonna assume that it is in fact a waterproof eyeliner, which is wonderful news for me. This is the Glam Bag Plus. It's not furry. I really wanted it to be furry. It's still super cute. It feels very spring. It feels very Easter to me and it's January, but they say it's the year of the you. Forget reinvention, throw resolutions out the door. Never mind starting over. This year, just focus on doing you and discovering whatever makes you happy. First up, we have this large box on top called Sweet Tree. Oh, it's from Hey Honey. And the product is called Sweet Tree. The Wildberry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. Restore the appearance of dull skin impacted by environmental factors. Gravity? The, the dry weather, the sun, <laughs> is that all? Is gravity an environmental factor? Oh my God, it smells so good. 
It smells like a strawberry like yogurt smoothie. It's just it's just a creamy texture. It's got a nice packaging and this would be cute on the counter too. Okay, that's that's a great start. Next up, let's go for another box. I feel like another skincare item though. Tarte Drink of H2O. Oh, it's part of their C collection. You know, they even have makeup in that collection. Hydration the 24 is 24 hour moisturizer, hyaluronic acid, algae, squalane, and dermatologist tested. It says it's cruelty free and vegan which there is plant-based squalane um, which is supposed to be amazing for moisturizing your skin which I've tried just straight up squalane from that um was it good molecules or the ordinary it's one of those two they're super cheap skincare but you buy like ingredients it almost feels like rather than blends and product it works so good this is exactly what I needed I didn't know how to handle my dry skin it's a um a gel based moisturizer I'm loving this right now. If you have a skincare fridge, these gel-based moisturizers too, oh my gosh. Sometimes I'll pop it in my fridge downstairs just so that I can have how that feels because I don't have a skincare fridge. I don't think I want a skincare fridge because then if things are too out of sight, they're out of mind and I probably wouldn't do my skincare anymore if I had one. Okay, that is lovely. This is an excellent bag so far. Oh, I should tell you the exciting news about Ipsy. Next month for the Ipsy Glam Bag X, the co-collaborator on it is Bailey Sarian. Literally the queen of makeup I think she got her start on Ipsy and then she started obviously doing the YouTube videos and then got into true crime and that's how we all know her now if you don't know who Bailey Sarian is then I don't know what planet you're on she is so freaking phenomenal so if you are thinking about signing up for Ipsy Glam Bag X of course it is an affiliate link that they gave me it'll be linked down below please use my link my family does totally appreciate your support I am also going to be signing up for it so expect to see that unboxing next month I'm super stoked for it because she is just like literally the bee's knees all right, next up, we have a mascara from Milk Makeup, and this is their new Rise Mascara, which we got a little sample of last month, and I told you I'd try it and let you know how it was. I have tried it, and I absolutely love it, so I'm really excited to get this one. It says lift length and volume. Oh my god, this packaging is so much cooler. I thought it was going to be exactly the same, but it's like rubberized. It's like a skin on top of it, because I feel like we could pull it off. Yeah, it still has the same brush brush head and it says it's curved to fit your natural lashes that the um, bristles are wavy so that it coats the, the both sides of every lash or something like that how freaking weird is this experience of touching this I don't know why I love that so much all right next up we have from flora and B a nectar of the sea vitamin C serum this has 11 nourishing actives in it and four visible results. This citrusy smooth serum will give you brighter glowing skin, diminishing the look of dark spots and wrinkles. Want me to last longer? Store me in the fridge. Oh, so it doesn't expire. I was thinking like you would loot use less if you kept it refrigerated. That is such a pretty bottle too. Look at how damn cute this bottle is. It's like a little apothecary. It's cruelty free, vegan, and 1% also goes to charity. But it's, it's like a really nice little package. Oh, vitamin C. I think actually you're supposed to want to keep vitamin C refrigerated because it keeps it stable longer. So maybe that's what they mean. Brighten and tighten. Do we, did, was that all? No, I think there's one more thing in there. I just think it's small. Oh, it is. It's a beauty tool. So we have a brush from Half Caked. It's their number 816 crease brush love this it feels it feels really nice oh my gosh i'm really excited for ipsy for this month last month was a really good month and um next month is going to be the bailey sarian collab so next month's going to be a killer month too that is all for the makeup boxes we are down to the untitled box this one's 42.50 per month it is going to be fully themed everything falls in line with a single theme you do put in a shirt size at checkout and you can get anything from like a tank top t-shirt long sleeve shirt sweatshirt we got a sweatshirt in November and I didn't even get to show you all. It said sweater weather. It had like trees and little fall leaves on it. We're always going to get like a custom made art piece, a couple vinyl stickers, that apparel item, usually a snack of some sort in here. You get a whole handful of things. Some of the things are exclusive to the box. Other things that you can purchase outside of the box if you're interested. And over on their Instagram is when they announce their next theme, which it is the Love Yourself box for February. So on the 2nd, on January 2nd, they would have announced the theme for February and then you have until the 20th to sign up for it. I think this is the first time I'm getting this video posted before the deadline is cut off, 
where if you want to get into the love yourself box, you actually have the option to do so <laughs> still. Oh, their Instagram, I'll link it down below. It's at untitleddesigns.art. And it is the birthday box. So I'm curious what different things will be included. This paper that is in here is so damn cute. I just had a nephew, my new nibbling yesterday, and uh, his name is Forrest. And the theme of his room is, of course, like little woodland creatures. And this is like... Oh my god, it is little mushrooms on it. It's so cute. I am over the moon. I cannot wait to meet him. I think I get to meet him on Monday. I can't contain myself. And no, my, my ovaries are not twinging. I'm definitely not having any more kids. That season is over. I just, I really like that paper. All right, the first thing, should I go for like the apparel item? It is one of my absolute favorite colors. It's long sleeves, which is to be expected. It's January. And it says wild one sublimated in, so you can't feel it. See, sorry, I just flicked you off. Um, wild, wild one? Yeah, because they, because they turned one. That's why. It makes sense. I feel like I need to give this to my sister-in-law who just had the baby. So let's go in to this thing next. It is the Art of Play 120 piece jigsaw puzzle. It turns out to be 12 by eight and a half. We might have gotten the same or there could be a few different variations of the puzzle. I'm not entirely sure, but this one's a trash panda one. Fun fact, I had a wild pet raccoon for a short period of time, rehabbed it after its mother was killed and then reintroduced it into the wild and later was confirmed that it survived the wild. Isn't that exciting? Its name was Hurley and it also made me believe that raccoons could be nice creatures, but every raccoon that I've encountered after that has wanted to kill me. Yeah, this is a good size. It's a 120 piece puzzle. It's something that will like occupy my time but not feel overwhelming. Let's go for this. Oh, okay. Wow, I couldn't figure that out for a minute. It's a soft keychain that says wild one. It has like the pattern. Is it a chapstick holder? And the chapstick is in happy birthday flavor. That's so damn cute. The next thing is definitely a um, snack item. It's the Kit Kat birthday cake um, bars. These are freaking delicious. And then stickers. We have our pack of vinyl stickers. They are waterproof, dishwasher safe, and fade resistant vinyl, which means you can stick them to your car windows, um, of course, onto like the side. I switched to this one temporarily because it's the one that my kids got me for Christmas. So I've got to use it in front of them a whole hell of a lot for them to feel like I love them. Yeah, but stick them wherever you like to stick stickers. This one says perpetual screaming and it is a possible Awesome. And then here we have all the woodland creatures up in a row. This one would be really cute on like the bottom of a coffee mug. I feel like it would fit it really well. All right, so we are down to the very last item that's in the box and it's the largest thing to hold. So this is the custom made art piece for the month and it's like a little woodland mushroom house, um, birdhouse flowers and mushrooms painted all the way around it. That is, that's a cute little decor piece. If you wanted to put it outside, which I might, because I have like a little shady covered area in the summer, of course, then you could just coat it in some sort of protective lacquer. I don't think any bird's actually going to use it as a birdhouse, so I'm, I wouldn't be too concerned. Okay, so that was fun. That was, I think that's the end of the box. We got the stickers, the shirt, the puzzle, the keychain, the snack, and the hand-painted birdhouse. Very on theme for birthday, very fun. So I guess that's it. That's everything that I have for you today. I'll put the links and codes to everything that we have down below as well. Thank you all so damn much for being here. I think I'm going to do this every month, like all of my subscription boxes in one video. So if you're here for subscription boxes, still here, we'll do one per month and then everything else is like home organizing, decluttering, cleaning and stuff like that. That is enough. I'm sure this video is forever long. It feels like I've been sitting here. My, my camera died. So it feels like it's been forever. Love you all so damn much. Stay safe out there. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.